Abby called me up out of the blue a few weeks ago, and this is where I might be the douchebag. She fought with Jake when he refused to use his allowance to help pay their mortgage. What? <laughs> you give people a finger, they'll take your whole arm, man. Am I the a-hole for refusing to support my baby mama? Depends on what is expected from their support. Now, let's see. Now, let's see. So it goes as follows. And we're talking about, of course, about financially supporting, right? Uh, he starts by saying, all fake names and the backstory is kind of long, but I feel it's necessary to understand. It's not that long, actually. But okay. I guess for people who don't write... It can be. Or read. Or can read. <laughs> I'm a 54-year-old man married to Liv, woman of 46. We have a daughter six and have, uh, of six years old and have been together for 12 years. Liv is my second wife. Mm. I married my first wife, Anna, when I was 21. Anna is French. And we met when I was in France for a holiday. Romantic. <laughs> we have, so we, so we, Anna and, and I, have two children. Sophia, who's 30 right now, and Matteo, who's 27. I guess that's an Italian last name, but okay. Matteo. Anna and I were married for eight Matteo. years. It's Matteo, actually. It's Matteo. 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 You're just... Continue, continue. Making yourself look ridiculous. Anna and I were married for... Jamaican Australian, right? Jamaican Australia. I were married for eight years and, and, and had an amicable divorce. And I am on good terms with both of my children and Anna. And I see them often. So I count three, three kids right now, right? Mm -hmm. I then moved to the U.S. where I met Abby. <laughs> We were together for five years. We weren't married, but we did have two children, Jake and Leah. I cheated on Abby with Harper <laughs> and had a daughter, Maddie. How many kids are we at? We're at Liv with one with Liv, one with Liv, Six. two if with Anna. One with Liv, two with Anna, and then two with... Yeah, right? Five. five. Okay. Uh, two, no, two, in, two in France. Not six. One. We're at six. Six, yes. One in the current marriage, two in France, two in the in US, one cheating. Yeah, six. Harper and I... Harper uh, was the girl... Uh, he cheated uh, with? with Abby on. Yeah. Uh, Harper and I stayed. Harper and I stayed together for two years, but we eventually amicably split up. I moved back mm. to Europe, so I bought him a house as well as providing financial support. I see Maddie in person twice a year, and we talk every day. Mm. Maddie is the one. Oh, Maddie is the daughter. Okay, my split with Abby was messy. Abby was the one. Oh, are you are you following this by the way? Yeah, Abby, Abby is the one who, when he landed on 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 American soil, he started to no. spread his seeds. Yeah, yeah. So that's Abby, and then he cheated on her with Harper. So <laughs> Abby, my split with Abby was messy. Of course, you cheated. Abby told me she didn't want me in our children's life, mm. and I yeah. didn't fight her very hard on it. <laughs> yeah, if you have six but, kids. Yeah, that that's if you could. <laughs> <laughs> those, those triple shifts got him tired as F man. I keep in touch with both of them, both children. And Abby and I came to an agreement where I don't pay child support. But mm. I instead pay for school. I agreed. I also give them both a generous, a generous allowance and expensive gifts for B-Days and Xmas, Christmas. I'm aware it's a poor substitute for a father. After we split, Abby married Cole and had Ryan. From what I've heard from my kids, Ryan is the golden child of the house. KR. Ooh. Golden child of the house. Does it mean he's get oh no, no, that's that's 
It's another story. It's another story. Yeah, they aren't okay. mistreated. They aren't mistreated by any means. And from what I can tell, they like their stepfather well enough. But if Ooh. there's an argument between Ryan and their and either one of my kids, Abby and Cole will side with Ryan. Yeah. Abby's always been a reckless spender. Now, <laughs> isn't that the no, no, no. He's uh, not a spender. Well, he spends seats. <laughs> yeah. Now, Abby and Cole are struggling financially. So, Abby and the new husband... How old, how old are these kids, by the way? Uh, uh, the kids... So, From Ryan... Abby. Is, uh, Abby's... So, Abby and... and So, their kids are... Uh, let me check. 20... And six. Oh, ain't, ain't no child support anymore. I'll, I'll let you know where it's going. But continue. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Abby, Abby, Abby. Let me see if I told you correctly. Abby, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two kids, twenty and 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 the uh, yeah. So uh, where was I? Now Abby is struggling. For, now Abby and Cole are struggling financially, and mm. she has asked my kids to chip in. What I have, yeah. Well, they're living at their house, and the one is twenty. So okay. I get it, it is fair. It is fair. Okay, okay. it is fair. Now she's asking the dad to chip in as well. Yeah, let me guess. <laughs> Continue. I have more than enough money, so I had no problem upping Jake and Leah's allowance so they can help their family and keep. Ah, uh, this is how she themselves. does it. Uh, <laughs> she knew it. She knew it. Abby called me up out of the blue a few weeks ago, and this is where I might be the douchebag. She fought with Jake when he refused to use his allowance to help pay their mortgage. What? <laughs> you give people a finger, they'll take your whole arm, man. I told her that since Jake is no longer living with her, he has no obligation to pay for her house. Okay, oh, so, so he moved out. We moved out already. Jake Why figured out doing? that it would be better. Jake realized that it's better to pay no, the listen. down payment of his own house. <laughs> hey, hey, you, hey, you, you, you already have a golden child. Yeah. Now I need to pay for your, for you and your golden child. No, no, no. What continue? She fought with Jay. Let me see. I told her that's it. Yeah. Okay. She then demanded that I give Ryan an allowance as well. As Jake and Leah. So the kid of Cole. The, the, <laughs> okay. He told me that I wasn't allowed to financially support Jake and Leah without without also including Ryan. <laughs> because he was feeling left out. Mm. You, you know what kind of logic this is? By the way, Ryan is 12. Ryan Just is 12, that. but that, that's, I don't care about Ryan. He's the golden child. So good luck to him. Wait. He can pay for it. He, he, they call he, it he, 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 he can function as his own collateral. <laughs> <laughs> Gold is up. So why not? Oro. Well, she told me that. White, but okay. Continue. I told her. Uh, okay, so I'm going to repeat that part. She told me that I wasn't allowed to financially support Jake and Leah without also including Ryan. Because what? he was feeling left out. I told her to F off and that I'm not going to stop supporting my kids just because she can't support her own. Ooh, shots fired. I told her that I'll still pay Leah's tuition, but I'm stopping her allowance so Abby doesn't get any money. Both Abby's parents called me to say, that I am a douchebag. I am an a-hole for not stepping up and helping my kids. And Cole also what? called to scream at me. <laughs> I had to block their numbers. My family reassured me that I'm not the a-hole, but I'm not sure because I feel guilty that Leia's the one who suffers. So, how old is, is, the, the is the How old is the youngest? Uh, the youngest of the two, oh, uh, she's 16, Leah 16. 
Okay. So are we at the end already or? Yeah, yeah, we're at the end, yeah. So the question uh, is, is he, is he wrong? So is he, is he the ill? Is he wrong? Did he handle the situation in the wrong way? I mean, come on, man. This is not even a question, right? Am I supposed to 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 be step that to everyone in, in the world? This what is, about this is, this, is, this is a problem when you have broke baby mamas. This is a broke baby mama problem. <laughs>